Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we've got a really, really beautiful snake. This is a boom slung. He's got a widespread across Africa and within South Africa, all the way from Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, down into South Africa. And this guy is from just south of Peter Maritzburg. And he's a beautiful, beautiful snake. We've actually nicknamed him Blue because of his blue, blue coloration. Don't mind the free handling, please. I wouldn't do this with Boomslang normally. They're very jumpy, highly agile snakes. You can see he keeps wanting to make it towards a branch or the camera, but it's an absolutely stunning snake. Almost these blue flecks on the scales, on the underbelly and on the sides with this dark black on the top. And then with these greens and yellows that are coming through as well. The Cape Wormslung are a lot darker with kind of a yellow underbelly, whereas these guys are usually in Durban area are a lot greener. This guy is quite unique in that he's got a little bit of that blackness from the Western Cape locality. You also get the blacks in Eastern Cape, etc. But this is a really beautiful individual. So this is a male Boomslang. There's some sexual dimorphism in these snakes. The males are extremely beautiful, just like in birds. And the females are quite drib and drab and brown. But you can see even the underbelly of that snake. It's absolutely stunning. Really, really beautiful snake. They've got very similar toxins to the twig snake. Also a hemotoxic venom, supposedly one of the most potent Venom's drop for drop in Africa, but that's debatable amongst the twig snake as well, which is a more evolved type of venom and has some other components that haven't really been researched enough to be able to clarify whether this or the twig snake wins the first prize for the most toxic venom drop for drop. And a very rare do these guys bite humans. There is an effective anti-venom for these guys, monovalent anti-venom that's produced here in South Africa. It's highly effective. You do have between 24 to 48 hours before you start really getting bad symptoms from these snakes. So even though a bite from these snakes can be fatal, you do have quite a bit of time to get to the hospital. And if you go to the right place and they have anti-venom, a bite from these guys is generally non-lethal and very few people die from these guys. But incredible species and arboreal species of colubrid, living mostly in the treetops and canopies, in the Western Cape, they're a little bit more kind of semi-arboreal, living in bushes, but due to the lack of very tall trees out there, they tend to go from shrub to shrub, so are quite often seen crossing roads and crossing between different shrub areas, and probably a little bit more adapted to a more terrestrial lifestyle than these guys. These guys out here in the thorny scrublands and lowland bush. But you can see how beautiful these guys' eyes are as well. These massive, massive eyes, also binocular vision, you can see that really large, large pupils on both sides. Got a little concave groove on either side of the eye, which allows for them to have that binocular vision to be able to focus on stationary prey. A friend of mine recently at Swartburg Game Breeders, amazing little place. Um, they've got giraffe walks, etc. But out on his lawn, he saw a male boomslang hanging off a perch that had spotted a frog in the grass and the snake removed itself, cruised off the tree and literally cruised after this, this frog, saw the frog jump once or twice, it lifted its head up like almost like a cobra, didn't hood up but lifted its head up off the ground to be able to get a better perspective and did this beautiful undulating movement with its neck. The head stayed stationary and it just moved its neck. I guess it would be maybe to gain perspective or maybe get a range on distance and then as soon as the frog was spotted, the frog felt in danger, it jumped a couple times, and that's when you see these guys. They've got huge bursts of speed. Even on the ground, they're very fast. The snake slithered after the frog, caught the frog, and it was swallowed pretty much within 15 seconds. Absolutely amazing sighting. These guys specialize on chameleons, frogs, toads, birds, pretty generalist feeders, actually. They're 
rear fanged snake and this guy actually did a little yawn for us earlier and he's got two back fangs on the right side so he's obviously regrowing one of his fangs and whilst they lose fangs snakes do regrow their teeth as they lose them during feeding etc they regrow their teeth the old ones will fall out and they'll just keep regrowing like sharks do so they never run out of teeth So on that note guys, if you like this video, please do subscribe, hit that notifications bell and stay tuned for the next species of reptile or amphibian we encounter here in South Africa. And remember to stand for what we stand on.